So good morning. Glad to have you all here today. And um, as we start class, <clears throat> you know, it's been a really crazy time is the only way we can say it. It's been kind of crazy. And, you know, I keep bringing up in class how there's just seems to be just a lot of ups and downs in emotions. And I have a lot of people in my house that have four kids and, um, you know, any given day, anybody's feeling one way or another. And the other day, someone posted a quote that from Rumi that I thought just was really great. You know, yesterday, it this morning when I woke up, it really hit home because yesterday I was really feeling this. And um, it says, if everything around you seems dark, look again, you may be the light. And you know, that in some ways that when I, when I hear that, I feel like, Ooh, that's a lot of responsibility. I have to be the light, but then it also gives hope that, you know what, we can recharge that we can refuel that. And last night I just said to my husband, I was like, I'm just done and I need to go to bed <laughs> and I need to recharge. And then waking up in the morning was like, Oh yeah, that flame is in there and I can fuel that flame. So what I want you to do is just sit on your chair for a moment just in a comfortable position and just close your eyes and just on each exhale, first soften your brow, your forehead. And on your next exhale, soften your cheekbones and all the muscles around your jaw. And with your throat and neck, maybe swallow once, maybe move your head around a little bit. Let your shoulders roll down your back. Take a nice big inhale and on the exhale, let your belly soften and relax. And let your sit bones get heavy on the chair. And just relax your arms and legs a little bit and come to that idea of darkness and light. And with your eyes closed, just notice how you've been kind of seeing or viewing things in the world. And notice if you have been seeing more darkness around you. Or notice if you've been drawing yourself towards that, that light and that inner light and that inner light of those around you. And you may find, just like me, it's been fluctuating back and forth a lot and that we keep having to draw ourselves in. But the nice thing is, is we, have, we have that choice. We have that ability to keep drawing ourselves towards that positive energy and light in those around us. And as you breathe, inhale deeply and imagine a little flame within your heart center. And with each inhale, that flame grows a little brighter and that it shines out more to those around you. And knowing that you can take the time and fuel that flame when you feel it starting to lose its brightness, it's starting to peter out, you can come back to that. And then bring your hands to your heart center. And I invite you to chant the sound of Om with me three times. Om is the universal vibration of the divinity within all. So it's that inner goodness, that, and that vibration, that energy that lives within all of us and that connects us all. And you may either chant along or you may just listen. I do realize it sounds a little odd on um, the recording, but um, if you're feeling comfortable in your own home to chant, feel free to do it because no one else, you don't have to feel self-conscious because no one else will hear you other than the people maybe living in your house. So take a full exhale and a deep, joyful inhale. And then take a look down at your feet and move your sit bones so they're a little bit, they're away from the back of the chair, maybe the middle of your chair. And your knees are right over your ankles and your feet are hip distance apart and your knees are hip distance apart. And then bring the hands back to your heart center. Inhale, open your arms wide, lift your gaze, lift your sternum, tone the belly a little bit, raise your cheekbones. 
And on your exhale, wrap the arms around yourself, tuck your chin into your chest, let your shoulders round a little bit. And then inhale, open your arms, lift your gaze, lift your chest. Again, keep the belly gently toned. And then exhale, wrap the arms, the other arms stacked on top, tuck in, tuck your chin into your chest, let the back round a little bit. Inhale, open wide, lift the gaze. Exhale, wrap the arms around, hug in, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, open up. Exhale, stack the arms opposite, hugging in, tucking the chin into the chest. Inhale, open the arms wide and bring them up overhead and see if you can clasp your hands, point your index fingers, roll your shoulders down your back, reach up through the crown of your head and take a nice big breath. Really feel your rib cage expand in all directions. And as you exhale, kind of ground your sit bones into the chair, reach the head up to the ceiling, reach the fingers higher, take another big inhale. And on your exhale, release the hands and gently twist to the right. Take your left hand on your right knee and the right hand to the side of the chair. Look over your shoulder. Inhale, arms up overhead, reach up tall. Exhale, twist to the left. Take the, the right hand on the left thigh. Look over that left shoulder. <clears throat> Inhale, reach up tall. Big full breath, let the rib cage expand. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, arms up overhead, reach up tall. Exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, twist right. <clears throat> Gently draw the belly in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, lower the hands onto the thighs. <clears throat> and then as you inhale, come forward, keep the belly gently toned so you don't arch the low back, but round the shoulders down your back, lift your gaze a little, but keep a long neck like you have a little ball or an orange behind your neck. And then exhale, tuck your chin into your chest, draw your belly into the spine, let yourself roll back on your pelvis a little. And then inhale, come forward, shoulders down your back, lift your gaze. And now go at your own pace with your breath, however fast or slow you want to go, inhaling and exhaling, coming forward, just kind of working out the spine a little bit, noticing how it feels this morning. And as you observe it, observe it just with curiosity rather than judgment. Just kind of notice if there's anything in particular feeling <clears throat> a little more uncomfortable or feeling really awesome this morning. And then as you come forward the next time, circle your shoulders over to the left and back as you exhale, inhale, come forward. So you can make these circles as big or small as feels good for you. Using your core, using the abdominal muscles to help with the breath keeping the spine kind of long. And then as you come forward, change directions, circling the other way. and then come back to center. <clears throat> and then inhale the arms up overhead, nice big breath. Exhale, keep tall through the crown of the head, lower the hands down to the sides. Inhale, reach up, raise your cheekbones. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, take the right hand onto the edge of your chair and reach over that right side, stacking the shoulders. Inhale, raise up your arms. 
Exhale, take the left hand onto the chair, reach over. Inhale, raise up the arms. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, over to the left. Inhale, reach. And exhale, over, hold here. Ground down the left sit bone. Think of drawing the navel into the spine. Reach the head long. Reach the fingertips, spread them out. Take a nice big breath into that left side body. And then inhale up and exhale over to the left. Take the left hand on the chair. Stack the shoulders, ground down that right sit bone. Take a nice big breath, reach through the fingertips, spread the fingers wide. And then inhale, come back up. And then <clears throat> bring your arms out to your sides. And I think you can see my hands. So turn your palms facing forward and take your right fingertips and kind of draw them back and bring your left fingertips and point them forward. So you can see I'm kind of doing opposites with my hands. So we're gonna be kind of doing this, alternating back and forth. So your arms are out to the sides, the right fingertips back, left fingertips forward, let the head come over to the right and lower the shoulders. Inhale, head comes up to center, stretch your fingers out long. Exhale, bring the left fingertips back, right fingertips forward, let the head come over to the left. And just go to a point where it's just a comfortable stretch. Inhale up to center. Exhale, right fingertips back, left fingertips forward, head comes over to the right. Notice as you bring the head over, your shoulders might want to draw up. Try to lower them down. Inhale to center. Exhale, left fingertips back, right forward. Head comes over to the left. Inhale to center. One more time each side. Exhale, right fingertips back, head comes to the right, left fingertips forward. Inhale to center. Exhale, take the left fingertips back, right forward, head over to the left. Inhale to center, lower the hands down, and just, just kind of roll out the shoulders a little bit. That's kind of a long hold. And then alternate them, kind of like you're doing the backstroke, but you're not using the arms. And then switch directions, alternating them. Nice. Okay. And then just bring your hands to the side of your chair. And on your inhale, stretch your right foot straight out in front of you, flex through the heel. Tone your belly so you can sit up nice and tall and point the foot and then flex the foot. Try to spread the toes wide and then point the foot and flex the foot, spread the toes wide. Point and then flex, spread the toes wide. Keep the leg tall. Point one more time and flex, spread the toes. Lower that foot down and then come back to center. Notice that as we're doing it, you may well have a tendency to lean back. I know I certainly do. So lift up the left foot, <clears throat> flex through the heel, draw the belly in, be tall, and point the toes, and then flex the foot, spread the toes, point the toes, flex the foot, spread the toes, point again, flex the toes, point, and then flex, and then lower down. Nice. Come back to center. Again, draw the belly, reach up tall, reach through the heel, stretch out that right foot, and do some circles now. Circling it, see how large, they don't have to be fast circles, see how large a circle you can draw with your big toe, and then reverse directions, going the other way. Nice, and then lower that down. And then bring up the left foot and circle that as big of circles as you can do. And then reverse directions going the other way. Nice, and then lower that foot down. And then bring the arms up in front of you like you're holding on to a large beach ball, tall through the crown of the head, inhale, lengthen up. And then as you exhale, draw your right side body in and look to the right. Inhale to center, exhale, come over to the left. Inhale to center, 
Exhale to the right, you're drawing that side body in, drawing the navel to the spine. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, exhale to the left. I'm gonna do it one more time. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, raise the arms up overhead. Exhale, lower the hands onto the knee, tone the belly, let yourself come forward in a forward fold. Allow yourself to give yourself as much support as you need on the low back, but if it feels good and you can let your head dangle and your hands go ahead and do that, take a nice big breath into the back body. Feel your whole back expand, lengthen through the tailbone, feel the low back expand, exhale, lower down. And then inhale, come back up, push into your hands and come back up to a seated position. And then bring your hands to your sides again. Bring the right foot up, flex the heel, flex through the heel, keeping a nice long leg, so no bend in the knee. Circle your heel. Imagine drawing circles with your heel. So it's all coming from the hip. You're gonna feel it on the hip flexor. Breathing here, just breathing normal with your breath, circling the heel. You're gonna feel it here in the upper thigh, reverse direction. And again, resist the urge to lean back. Try to really draw the belly in, reach up tall through the crown of head, circling it. Nice, and then lower that down. And then just pause for a moment, just notice the difference between the left and the right side. And then tone the belly, bring up the left leg, flex through the heel, and then circle that leg. Reaching through the heel, making some nice, they're not massive circles, but they're pretty big. They're bigger than the ones you were making with your toe. Circling around, and then reverse the direction. Nice. And then lower that down. <clears throat> And then inhale, bring up the right arm. Be nice and tall. Exhale, cross your hand over to the left. Look to the left. Inhale, open your arm out to the right. Look to the right. Exhale, reach over. Use your left hand on the chair to arch over. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Inhale, bring up your left arm. Exhale, cross it over. Look to the right. Inhale, open up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, bring up the right arm. Exhale, cross it over, draw the belly in. Inhale, open. Exhale, reach over. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, bring up the left arm. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands on the knees. Let yourself come forward. Tone the belly to protect the low back. And again, allow yourself to come forward as far as feels comfortable on the low back. You can stay supported here on your knees, or you may allow yourself to just dangle over the legs and that may feel great. See if you can take a nice full breath, feel the back behind the shoulder blades, all the way down into the low back. And maybe see if you can have your breath be so expansive, you feel the pelvis expand even. And then on your exhale, try to just release the back, let it soften, <clears throat> and then push your hands into your knees, and on your inhale, come back up to your seat. <clears throat> nice. And then let's take the strap, in your hands and you can if you have a, I have a long strap so I'm just going to fold it in half or if you have a small rolled towel you could use that anything to just hold um, in your uh, hands here and then <clears throat> gently pull out um, on the strap just slightly but sit up tall roll the shoulders down your back and bring the strap up just off of your lap and just give a little pull and you're really drawing the shoulders down your back and then lift it up to chest height, reaching out. But again, 
avoiding letting the shoulders roll forward. Stay tall, shoulder blades down your back, and then reach up to just about like your, uh, right across from your eyes. So across from your face here, reaching out. Breathing here, just regular. Reach up, hands up high, shoulders down your back again. Every time we move the shoulders, we have a tendency to lift them out of their, um, their natural position. So hold them here, pulling gently. And then well, you don't have to put a lot of tension in it, but lower the hands down so the strap come, or towel comes towards your head. And then inhale, reach it up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale down, inhale, reach. Exhale down, inhale, reach. Exhale, and inhale. And then ground down the feet, tone the belly, and with the arms on the strap, reach over. Inhale up to center. Exhale, reach over to the left side. Inhale up. Now stay here, do a little twist, keeping the arms up, look towards the right. And then inhale to center, exhale, look to the left. Inhale to center, exhale, look to the right. Inhale to center, exhale, look to the left. Inhale to center and then lower down. And you can put that to the side for now. Then roll out your shoulders a little bit. <clears throat> And then bring the hands to the sides, tone the belly, sit up tall. Inhale, bring the right leg straight out, behind, out in front of you. Exhale, cross it over. See if you can touch the knee. If you can't touch the knee, touch the shin or the ankle, either spine. And then inhale, reach it out. Exhale, lower it down. <clears throat> inhale, stretch out the left leg. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, the right leg. Exhale, cross. Inhale, reach, exhale, lower down. Inhale, left leg, exhale, cross. Inhale, stretch, exhale, lower down. And again, I'm leaning back, so try to stay up tall. Inhale, reach the right leg out, exhale, cross over. Inhale, stretch, exhale, lower down. Inhale, left leg, exhale, cross. Inhale, reach, exhale, down. Inhale, right leg one more time. Exhale, cross. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, cross. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower down. Nice. Inhale, bring up the right arm. Exhale, cross it over. Inhale, open up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, cross. Inhale, open, exhale, reach. Inhale up, exhale down, nice. Now, <clears throat> turn yourself on your chair so that your left thigh is on the chair and your pubic bone is right over the edge of the chair and take your left hand on the chair back and let your right thigh come straight down to the floor and tuck your toes. And now maybe, <clears throat> you can step that foot back a little bit more. You decide how far open you can do that. And if your foot doesn't want to come stable on the floor, you can either scoot yourself a little more forward on the chair like I'm doing to get the foot on the floor, or you could put a book or a block underneath it so it feels stable. And notice your hip points, square them to the side of your chair, and draw your belly in so you can lengthen your low back. Because as we're grounding down this back foot, you may not notice that the pelvis wants to tilt forward. You get a little pinch in the back. So draw the navel to the spine and think of lengthening your tailbone down towards the chair. Push through your right leg, your foot. Whether the knee is straight down or reach behind you, just ground down that ball of the foot into the floor. Raise up your right hand. And then your gaze is to the side of your chair the way your knee, your left knee is pointing. See if you can raise up the left arm too, releasing it from the chair. If you feel unstable, please keep the hand on the chair. Breathing here into this crescent lunge. Now on your next exhale, take your right arm and open it up to the right and look to the right. 
And then inhale, raise the arms up. And as you exhale, take your left hand back and you're gonna look towards your chair back. Inhale, arms up. And you're gonna exhale, open both arms out. So look over the right shoulder. You're drawing the belly and grounding the feet. Inhale up. Exhale, look over the left side. Let's do it one more time each side. Inhale up. Exhale, look over the right shoulder. Reach the arms out wide. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, look over the left. Inhale up. Release the hands down and then come back to center and come over to the other side. So take the left thigh now is on the chair. <clears throat> Hold uh, right side, right thigh is on the chair, right arm on the chair. Let the left thigh come down and move yourself forward. If that, like if you're way back here and the heel won't come down, move yourself forward so that you can get the heel on the chair. For those of us who are a little vertically challenged, um, <clears throat> sometimes our household chairs might not be the right leg. So lower the thigh down, tuck the back toes, and if you can, walk the foot back some to stretch that out, do that. And then lean a little bit forward, tone the belly so you're lengthening the low back here, and then draw the shoulders back, raise up the left arm. And as you bring the arm up, try to roll the shoulders down your back, really reach through the fingertips, raise up the right hand in your lunge here. And then on your next exhale, draw the belly and ground the feet into the floor. Take the left hand back, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, take the right hand back. So you're twisting towards your chair back now, stretching the fingers apart from each other. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach back with the left arm. Look over that left shoulder. Inhale up. Exhale, take the right arm back, stretch the fingertips. Inhale up, one more time. Exhale, look over the left, reach through the fingertips. Inhale up, exhale, take the right arm back. Inhale up and exhale, come back to center. Nice. <clears throat> now, bring yourself a little uh, closer towards your sit bones, a little closer towards the edge of the chair. And sit up tall, walk your feet out just a little bit further in front of your knees and ground them down, tone the belly, bring your arms out in front of you, inhale tall. On your exhale, keeping a nice long low back, lean back towards the chair. Ground the feet, you're gonna feel it in the low belly. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, lean back. Only go back as far as you can, keeping the integrity of the low back. Inhale, come up. Ground down the feet. Exhale, back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale and come up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale up. Let's do one more time. Exhale back. Inhale, come up, raise your arms up high. Exhale, hands on the knees, let yourself fold forward over your legs. Take a nice full breath here into your back body. If it's comfortable, let your head relax. Big exhale. Ground down into the knees, inhale and come back up. Now, with your sit bones again, close to the um, front of your seat. Take your hands on the seat back and maybe just lean into your chair a little bit. You, you might not actually touch the chair or maybe you need to, maybe depending on the length of your chair, maybe your elbows touch the chair. Draw the belly in, lengthen through the crown of the head and see if you can bring your right foot off the floor. And then see if you can switch and bring the left foot off the floor. So you're drawing the navel into the spine and maybe you need to touch your feet, your opposite foot down as you lift the other one, or maybe you can pedal them, keeping both feet off the floor, just hovering. And maybe you have your cat to come and help you like I do. <laughs> um, and so pedaling back and forth, but pay attention to the integrity in the low back. Skip your move. If you feel like your back is starting to arch forward, then lower, put one toe on the floor as you lift the other one up, okay? and alternate each side one more time. Lower the feet down, inhale, come back up, raise the arms up. 
Exhale, bring the hands on the knees. Let yourself come forward. Take a nice big breath into the back body. Big exhale. And then come back up to center. And then bring your knee, your feet so they're under the knees. Bring your arms out in front. Tone the belly. Inhale, push in the heels and just lift the hips up off the floor, off the chair. And then lower yourself down. Inhale, come up. So we're just pausing for a moment and then lowering down. And we're not coming all the way up. We're keeping the knees right over the feet. Coming down. Come back up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Pushing into the heels. Your weight is in the heels. And then this time come all the way up. Nice. Inhale, raise the arms up. Big breath, exhale, lower down. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, lower down. Nice. And then come to the back of your chair. And I think I am gonna, I'm gonna turn my chair sideways so it's a little bit easier to see me. So with your hands on the back of the chair and your feet hip distance apart, first just come up onto the balls of your feet, lift up. And hold here, and then slowly lower down. Lift back up onto your balls of your feet. Reach up to the crown of your head. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, slowly lower the heels. Let's do two more times. Come up onto the balls of the feet. Slowly lower down. Last time, come up and then slowly lower down. And then I'm gonna move so that I can, my whole body can be seen here. So now you're going to take your right foot and stretch your right foot back and move the left foot a little towards the chair. You might even put your toes under the chair. You're on the ball of your back foot, okay? And notice your hip points, square them up to the front of your chair so you're looking at your chair. And then bend your front leg and let your calf stretch out in back of you, okay, into a lunge. If your knee is wanting to go in front of your ankle, then move your foot a little more forward so that your knee is right over the ankle. And then in this position, as you're stretching out the calf gently, draw the feet together. They're not gonna move on the mat, but you're gonna feel your inner thighs activate, tone your belly, lengthen your tailbone, and then take your right hand up overhead. Roll the shoulders down your back. Then see if you can bring up the left hand in your lunge here. Okay? If you feel unstable, feel free to keep holding on with one hand. If you're feeling okay here and stable, then see if you can exhale, circle your hands behind you. Inhale, raise them up. Exhale, circle the hands behind you. Inhale, raise them up. And one more time, exhale, circle back. Inhale, raise them up. And then lower your hands onto the chair. And now take your right foot, spin that foot parallel to the back of the mat and see if you can line up the arch of the heel. But if that's uncomfortable on the joints, then it's okay to line up your heels and move that right foot a little more forward and make a line between the heels. But when you bend into the left knee here, keep the knee over the ankle, okay? And so now, and make sure that when you look down, see if you can see that big toe. We have a tendency to let the knee roll in. So if you can hold that open. So you can keep your left hand on the chair, take the right hand behind you, bring it over your back leg with the fingertips down. Then tone the belly, draw the navel to the spine, lengthen your tailbone to the floor, head up to the ceiling. Roll your shoulders down your back. Turn your gaze looking over your chair and see if you can reach your front arm over the chair. And stretch through the fingertips. And as you are breathing here, think of breathing into that heart center, fueling that little light to shine out to those around you, knowing that the brighter you shine, the more it will get reflected back to you. Breathing here. Turn your palms facing forward. And now take your right fingertips back, left ones forward, bring the head over the right. Inhale to center, 
Exhale, bring the left fingertips back, right fingertips forward, bring the head over to the left. Inhale to center, bring the right fingertips back, left forward, head comes over to the right. Inhale, center, bring the left fingertips back, right forward, head comes over. And then inhale to center, straighten your front leg and let your hips shift a little bit so that they're more at a 45 degree angle and your knee is pointing towards the toes. And you can either, my chair back is a little high for me, so I'm gonna reach under the chair, but some people might wanna put your hand on the chair. And coming into what we call triangle pose, you're raising up the top arm, both legs are straight, but your neither is locked. So you're not locked back on the joint. You're pushing a little more into the ball of the front foot. Tone the belly, reach the head away from the hips, breathing into your triangle pose. Nice big breaths here. And then inhale and come up. Bend the knee, walk the feet together a little. Turn towards your chair back and bring your hands onto the chair back. And then Walk the feet with the palms on the chair, walk the feet back so that, and keep the hips over the feet and tone the belly, roll the shoulders down your back, let your head and your gaze come towards the floor. And feel free to have a little bend in the knees. If that helps lengthen the back. What we're trying to do is really lengthen, imagine lengthening the sit bones away from the chair, but drawing the shoulder blades down your back so that shoulder girdle is staying strong, Breathe into the back body, and on your exhale, see if you can let the neck relax a little bit. Nice big inhale, big exhale. And then walk yourself towards the chair, and bring your weight into your left leg. Bring the heel of your right foot towards the ankle, so you're looking like this. I'm gonna face you to do this, but you keep facing your chair. And grip, the floor with your foot. So you're gonna feel like your ball of your foot and your arch come a little closer, the, or the heel come closer and the arch lift up. Contract your thigh a little, tone your belly. And with both hands on the chair, see if you can bring your right foot off the, off the floor and push it into your shin. So your knee is turned out to the side. We're in what we call tree pose or vriksasana, facing the chair. And Draw the navel to the spine, reach up through the crown of the head, and maybe you feel you can take your left hand to your heart center. Focus on something in front of you not moving, and maybe this is where you want to stay. And maybe you even feel like you want to keep your toe of that right foot on the floor. You decide what feels comfortable for you. If you're feeling stable, you can see if you can hover your right hand over the chair. And maybe you could even bring it to your heart center. Or maybe you want to keep both hands on the chair. You decide. And then lower it down, shake out your legs. I'm going to turn my chair just so it's easier to see. So now come facing the chair again. And you're going to come up onto the balls of your feet. Lower down slowly. Come back up. Lower down, slow, working the calves. Come back up, holding here for a moment, lower down. Come back up onto the balls of the feet again, lower down. And then this time, you're going to step the left foot back. So you're doing the opposite foot. And again, adjust yourself. You might want to move that foot, the front foot, the right foot closer to the chair. And then turn your hips to face forward and you're on the ball of the back foot. Use the chair to help stabilize you. And then push into that back heel. The heel probably is not gonna come down to the floor. You're in a wide enough stance. But you're opening up the back of the calf there. Tone the belly so that we're not letting the pelvis tilt forward. And straighten the back leg as much as possible. <clears throat> and then bring your left arm up overhead, roll the shoulders down your back and you can keep your gaze facing forward. And then draw the feet together to feel more stable. So instead of letting the energy of the feet want to push away from each other, draw them together, tone the belly again. And then see if you can raise the right hand up, shoulders down your back. And then if you're feeling stable, see if you can circle the hands behind you. If you start to lose your balance, feel free to grab onto the chair. Inhale up, exhale, hands back. Inhale up, exhale back. 
Inhale up, bring your hands onto the chair and spin your back foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat. And then line up either your heel and your arch, or if that's uncomfortable, line up the two arches. And most important, your legs are far enough apart that when you bend into this knee, you're gonna have it over the ankle, okay? And you wanna have a considerable bend. You don't have to get way down into this, but just have some bend over the knee. The shin is straight though. And then look over your back leg, bring your arm, your left arm over that back leg, and then turn your gaze over your chair. Draw your feet together, tone the belly so you feel the tailbone length into the floor, head up to the ceiling, and if you're feeling stable, raise up your hand, your right hand over your chair back. Know that you can always lower the hand onto the chair, the arm onto the chair too, and still be in the position of warrior two, of Virabhadrasana two, this is perfectly acceptable. Hands out. And then turn your palms facing forward. Take the right fingertips back, left fingertips forward. Let your head come over to the right. And only go to a comfortable stretch. Don't go to any discomfort, please. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, let the left fingertips go back, right forward. Let the head come over to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale. The right fingertips back, left forward, head comes over to the right. Inhale to center, exhale, left fingertips back, right forward, head comes over to the left. Inhale up, and then bring your hand onto the chair. Now, if you're wondering about that one, um, <clears throat> and you can straighten your front leg for a moment, that little flossing, it's called nerve flossing, and that is a great thing to do if you have issues with carpal tunnel and stuff with your shoulders from being on the computer um, that we might all be doing a lot these days. So now straighten your front leg, <clears throat> let the hips turn off a little bit at an angle, and you can either bring your forearm onto your chair back, or you can bring your hand below onto the seat, raise up your top arm, roll the shoulder blades down your back, stretch through the fingertips, reach your head away from your hips in your triangle pose. Nice big breaths here. And then lower the hand down, turn yourself towards your chair and come to bringing your hands on the chair. So now you're gonna bring the weight into the right leg, bring the heel of the left foot to the ankle and your knee turns out. So again, you're in this position now with your toe on the floor. And with that right foot, feel grip the floor, tone the belly, lengthen the spine again, Focus on something that's not moving in the room. And when you're ready, see if you can bring that left foot up. And maybe you want to just keep that toe on the floor, or maybe you bring it up only so your ball of your foot is on the ankle bone, or your heel is on the top of your calf, wherever it feels comfortable. Try to level the hips, reaching the head up to the ceiling. And then see if maybe you can bring your right hand to your heart center. And maybe you're feeling stable enough to hover the left hand over the chair. Maybe you even feel comfortable enough to bring that hand to the heart center. You decide. And it's perfectly fine if you need to have both hands on the chair to feel comfortable today. And then lower the hands down, lower the foot, shake out the feet. And then with the hands on the chair back, walk your feet back, keeping the hips over the feet, bend the knees as you need to. And draw the shoulder blades down the back, navel up to the spine, let your head come down long with your, between your arms. And see, think about trying to lengthen the back rather than rounding it. So bend the knees so that you, a little, so you can lengthen that back. Try to open up the shoulders. Take a nice big breath here. Ex feeling the expansion. Exhale, let the neck relax a little bit. Take one more breath in your supported downward dog. Big exhale. And then walk yourself back towards your chair. And then turn your chair back if you've moved it and come back to sitting on your chair. Widen your legs in your chair. And inhale tall, bring up the left arm. Exhale, use your right hand on your thigh as you lean over, inhale up, 
and exhale, flow to the other side. This is a goddess flow, inhale up, exhale over, inhale up, exhale over to the left. Let's do each side one more time, inhale up, exhale over, inhale up, exhale to the left. Inhale, reach up, arms tall, exhale, twist to the right, and take your right hand behind you, left hand, maybe it comes to the thigh, maybe it doesn't. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale, twisting to the left. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale up. Reach tall. Exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale up. Exhale, bring the hands to your sides, bring your feet together. And inhale tall, exhale, let yourself hinge forward one more time. And again, support yourself if you need to, or allow yourself to fold forward over your legs. You can let the head come long, let your breath be full. See if you can feel that expansion all the way down the spine into your tailbone. Big inhales, big exhales, releasing. Try to soften. And then bring the hands on the knees. Inhale and come up. And move yourself back into your chair so you can feel your back supported on the chair comfortably. And let your legs just relax to the sides. Take a moment and give a little rub onto your thighs. And then... <clears throat> Then take a moment to just gently pull out your fingers from the palm down through your fingers. And then just going, you know, from the palm, reaching down the bones out and do the other side. And then Gently massage up the right arm, just kind of giving some little squeezes from the wrist up to the elbow. Taking a moment, if you find something that feels a little tender, giving it a little extra squeeze. Working your way up your shoulder. Something we're all missing now is human touch. Not being able to hug each other. So give yourself a little love. Shake out that hand, and then when you're ready, do the other arm. And again, just finding any places that might need a little extra attention, give them a moment. You can come back to them later on if you notice something as you're doing this. Maybe later on when you have a few minutes, you'll come back to that shoulder or elbow or finger, or whatever it is that might be bothering you. Shake it out and gently massage up your neck and into your skull, especially the base of your skull, the little occipital lobes there. Give them a little massage, and then maybe work your way through your scalp. Just kind of rubbing the fingers from the edge of your hairline into the center of your scalp. And once you've done your whole scalp, bring your fingers to your forehead, and gently draw them out to your temples a few times. And then take your index fingers along the bridge of your nose. And if you have glasses on, you might want to just move your glasses up onto your head. But take your fingers along the bridge of your nose and circle around your eyes, down onto your cheekbones, towards your temples a few times. And maybe make kind of bigger circles as you go under the cheekbones. And then to the jaw joint, gently massaging that. And then work your way down your jaw towards your chin. Do your upper lip and then down your throat from your jaw down your collarbones. And then shake out the hands and let your hands relax on your lap. And close your eyes for a moment and just observe how your body feels right now. Notice how your breath feels. And come back to that idea of being the light. And as you inhale, imagine again fueling that internal flame, that internal light. 
letting it grow a little brighter so that it shines out for all those around you. And knowing that even as we go through these next weeks, if that flame starts to feel like it's getting less bright, you can take the time to take care of yourself and recharge it, refuel it, that it never is fully out and that we can always add a little more by taking moments to ourselves. And knowing too that those around us are doing their best too and trying to shine their light back to us. Just observe the breath, how it feels, that life force. Take a moment to give a little gratitude for that breath, for your heart beating, for that ability to come to class today and do yoga, taking care of yourself. Allow your breath to lengthen, wiggle your fingers and toes a little bit. Sit up from your chair back and inhale, open your arms wide, lift your gaze, lift your sternum, take a nice big full breath. Exhale, hug in, wrap the arms around yourself, tuck your chin into your chest. Inhale, open wide, lift the gaze, lift the chest. Exhale, hug back in, wrapping the arms around. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. <clears throat> and I invite you to chant the sound of OM with me one time. Take a full exhale and a deep, joyful inhale. The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Thank you all for coming to class today. Um, it was wonderful to have you, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Um, 